everybody, it's Elisa here. So today's video is all about how to deal with uncomfortable emotions, sensations and urges. I will talk about the power of your emotions and how you can cope with them. And in the end, I will also give you a practical tool you can use to deal with your emotions. And before we start, please also like this video if you find these videos helpful and subscribe to my channel for more future videos. But now let's get started with today's video. So emotions are one of the most most powerful driving forces behind human behavior and most of our reactions and actions are driven by our emotions our strong emotional response has evolved by evolution to protect us from danger we have strong emotions like fear anxiety panic that warns us that something is wrong so we can take immediate action and move away from possible danger. And emotions are much quicker alert signal for our brain than our thoughts can ever be. But when we have an eating disorder, then our fears and anxieties are not the correct responses from our brain because it's not normal or healthy to have this intense fear of food or fear of weight gain. And actually to fully recover, you need to do the opposite to your emotions. In recovery, you must do the things that are scary. You must face your anxieties and challenge them and do so repeatedly in order to overcome them and rewire your brain. And this is where learning how to cope and deal with your emotions is absolutely crucial to reach full recovery. So I wanna teach you a basic process you can use to deal with your uncomfortable emotions. You can apply this practice when you're dealing with any uncomfortable feeling such as shame, guilt, fear, anxiety, or when you're dealing with any uncomfortable physical symptoms. Because I know sometimes like in recovery, we feel physically so uncomfortable and we just wanna change something to move away from those uncomfortable sensations. Or you can use this process uh, also to deal with any urges, such as urge to restrict or diet, urge to purge, urge to overexercise, or compensate your calories, or just urge to use any other eating disorder or unhealthy behavior. And the basic principle of this exercise is that we are not trying to make anything go away or change anything. We are not trying to numb from it or distract from it, but instead we fully allow our feelings without judgment. So the goal is not to make the feeling go away or to change it, but actually to accept it. And I know this can feel very confusing because like why on earth would we want to willingly accept and allow those uncomfortable emotions and sensations? Firstly, the more you try to make something go away, the more it actually grows in power. Or in other ways, what you resist persists. And actually, when you stop fighting, when you stop resisting, then over time the emotion loses its intensity and power. And secondly, our emotions are there to be felt. Because if we are constantly suppressing our emotions, it stays stuck in our body and it can manifest as several health issues. For example, some mental health issues such as anxiety, chronic stress, consistent feelings of fear and guilt and shame. And in terms of our physical health, Suppressed emotions can manifest as digestion issues, headaches, back pain, lowered immune system and many other things because suppressed emotions are a chronic stress to our bodies and this is why we don't want to suppress it anymore but actually to fully allow it to feel it so it can be released on its own. And thirdly, especially if you're recovering from eating disorder, you want to be able to allow your emotions and to sit with them instead of constantly reacting or acting in eating disorder ways. So you can increase your tolerance to your emotions. Because for example, if you are in eating disorder recovery and let's say you have to eat something and then you have this very strong feeling of guilt. And if you're not able to sit with that emotion but instead you react to it in eating other ways you act on it maybe by wanting to diet or restrict or maybe compensate then you will never recover because as we said earlier to recover from an eating disorder you actually have to do the opposite to your emotions you have to challenge your fears you have to face your anxieties so in this sense 
being able to feel your feelings and sit with them instead of trying to make them go away is an essential skill you have to master if you want to take consistent pro recovery action and before we continue with the practice I want you to really like use your own best judgment in whether this practice would be good for you right now because we are all different. Discuss it maybe with your treatment team or your doctor or maybe your therapist because sometimes we do need medication for our symptoms or sometimes we do need to talk to a trained professional about how to deal with our emotions. But now let's talk about the technique. Expansion is a technique that helps you to sit with your uncomfortable and difficult emotions to fully feel them and allow them without judgment and this way you're no longer fighting with your emotions trying to suppress them or resist them or numb from them that can actually make the emotions and feelings worse long term and expansion consists of uh, four steps observe breathe create space and allow and this technique is from a book uh, the happiness trap by ross harris and I really recommend you to read this book as well. And I have also created a downloadable meditation uh, that you can download maybe to your computer or to your phone and listen with your headphones. So if you're interested, then that uh, link to the file will be in the description. So now let's start with the process. And uh, if you want, you can maybe find a place, like comfortable place where you can sit or maybe even lie down. And you can also close your eyes if you feel it helps. So firstly, Scan your body from head to toe. Notice any uncomfortable sensations in your body. You will probably notice many of them, but pick one that bothers you the most. And now just notice the sensation and describe how you're experiencing it. Maybe it's the knot in your stomach, lump in your throat, tightness in your chest and focus your attention to this sensation with non-judgmental awareness. Observe it without judgment but with curiosity like a scientist. Notice where it starts and where it stops. If you had to draw an outline around the sensation, what shape would it have? Is it on the surface of the body or inside of you? Or maybe both? How far inside you does it go? Where is it most intense? Where is it the weakest? How is it different in the center from around the edges? Is there any pulse or vibration? Is it light or heavy? Warm or cool? Moving or still? What color is it? Does it have any textures or patterns? And now, breathe into and around the sensation. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out deeply by completely emptying your lungs. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Slow deep breathing helps to lower the tension in the body and make room for the sensation. It won't get rid of the feelings or sensations, but slow breathing is like an anchor keeping you steady in the middle of an emotion storm. It won't get rid of the storm, but it will hold you steady until it passes. So breathe deeply and slowly and imagine your breath flowing into and around the sensation. 
And now, as you are breathing deeply in and out, then imagine like you are creating more space to the feeling, more space in your body for the sensation to be and flow freely without any restrictions. You open up space to it and give it plenty of room to move and just be as it is. If the sensation gets bigger, you give it even more room with each breath giving it more space and room in your body. You are expanding the space for the motion to be in and flow freely. And now fully allow the sensations, emotions and feelings to be there without trying to change them or make them go away. Let them be as they are. Just observe with curiosity and non-judgmental awareness. And when you notice that your mind starts to resist the sensations or urges or argues why you shouldn't feel this way, then you can just say, thanks for the story, mind. And continue just observing the sensations, breathing into and around it, creating space for it and allowing it. Say to the emotional sensations, I hear you. You are allowed to be here. I welcome you unconditionally. I am completely here for you now. It is safe to feel. I am safe feeling this emotion. And deeply breathe into it. Remember the intention here is not to get rid of the sensations or alter it. It may change on its own and that's okay. Equally, it may not change at all and that is also okay. Getting rid of or changing the sensations is not the goal here. The goal is to make space for it, to allow it, to let it flow through you without getting stuck, to make space for it and to just let it be as it is. So, if you feel ready, you can slowly come back to the room, awareness of your body and open your eyes. And this is the whole process. How did you like it? And I have created a downloadable meditation that you can download maybe to your phone or to your computer and listen to your headphones. So if you want to have the file, then the link will be in the description. And at first it can be quite normal that the emotions may seem a little bit overwhelming and quite intense. So feel free to maybe start practicing this uh, with maybe a little bit less intense emotions first. But firstly, the more you practice this, uh, the better you get with this process. And secondly, the emotions that are felt can also be released. So they stop piling up. And I truly think that doing this regular, almost like emotional self-care will make you emotionally healthier, but also emotionally more resilient. And the good news is that actually doing this process, it doesn't necessarily have to take a long time. Not this long, maybe even as we did it in this video. But for example, when I practice this, maybe it takes me sometimes like even one minute where I just uh, notice the emotions or the sensations. I breathe into it, I create space for it and I just allow it. It really doesn't have to take a long time. I don't even need to be lying down for it. I don't need to be completely alone for it. I don't need to close my eyes for it. You can just practice this with a little bit of awareness. And with practice, I think you as well, you can start to do this process much quicker and still have the same benefits. So this is it for today's video. This was the practice. I really hope you found it helpful. 
And if you want to know more about recovery, then please check out my book, Step by Step, How I Reached to My Full Recovery. And also on my website, I have a few online courses for eating disorder recovery, so you can check out them as well. And all the links will be down in the description. And please like this video if you find it helpful and also subscribe to my channel and have the notification bell on for any new future videos. So thank you again for watching and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye!